10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We have a go for engine start, zero. We have booster ignition and liftoff of Columbia. I'm Steve Hawley. I'm a professor of physics and astronomy and a former NASA astronaut, uh, having flown five times on the space shuttle. Before I came to KU, I was the director of space science at Johnson Space Center. It's a legacy group that dates back to the Apollo program and started with the training of the astronauts and the subsequent care of the returned lunar samples. So over the years, we've accumulated a lot of uh, knowledge, experience in, in doing work on materials from outer space. We've added to the collection with things like meteorites, some of which are from Mars, things like cosmic dust, comet particles. I'm teaching a class that's called the Quest for Extraterrestrial Life. And so we're looking at things like uh, the role of stars in the formation of heavy elements that make life possible, how do planets form, are there planets outside the solar system, what uh, are the processes that we think give rise to life on the Earth, are those processes possibly in play elsewhere. We did do work in my group in Houston that's relevant to this issue of the possibility of life elsewhere. And uh, one example is a meteorite that we have in our collection that we determined to have originated on Mars and within the meteorite were found some small, very, very small things that appear to be uh, morphologically like fossilized bacteria. And so the speculation is, could that have been some sort of primitive life on Mars uh, or was it uh, some sort of non-biological process that, that formed these things. I think it's important in all these classes that I've been teaching to not only convey the results of science, but the process of science. And, and uh, I recognize that most of the students I'm teaching are not going to be scientists, but the tools that scientists employ are important, uh, I think, in everyday life for most people. What I've been trying to do in the context of each of these discoveries we'll discuss is really explore how do we know that and what is the evidence we have and what are the alternative explanations that may or may not be as valid as the one I'm telling you and I'm, I'm trying to encourage them to to you know challenge me ask me how you know you say that but how do you know or what evidence do you have to make that claim that's great I was lucky enough to get to fly five times uh, for me as an astronomer one of the real thrills was to be involved in the Great Observatory. I got to launch Chandra, and I got to launch Hubble, and I got to go work on Hubble. You know, I was a KU undergrad, and I was born in Ottawa, and I grew up in Salina, and, and you know, I'm not a kid from a big town. I'm not a kid from the East Coast. I'm a kid from here in Kansas that, that went to KU and then got a chance to do some cool things. So uh, if I can convey that, you know, just because you're from a small town or just because you're an undergraduate at KU doesn't mean you can't do really cool things. You have to work, <laughs> but uh, the opportunity's there. <laughs>